You're rolling over how to do this every time your opponent does an RPO, but this doubles as a real fast A-gap blitz that we're going to get into. Coming up. So this could be super annoying in college football 25. Your opponent just does nothing but this. We're going to stop it right now. It's by this play. This is an A-gap linebacker blitz. It works against a blocked halfback. It's going to shut down RPOs, and you're going to make your opponent throw faster than he needs to, and he's going to throw pick after pick after pick. We'll get into it, what the play is, and the setups right now. What's up, everybody? I'm JP Storm, a.k.a. KOB, a.k.a. your K of the blitz and we are going over the 425 defensive playbook which i have an ebook on this and right now i am revamping all of our defensive ebooks for madden 25 and college football 25 and this is from the 425 under so we will go over a blocked halfback but i just want you guys to know it's 425 under and this is a very easy simple blitz i'll first show you how to stop the rpo and then we'll get into the a gap blitz because you can set it up for both because it's a very easy simple blitz and it is the 425 under it's the hammer o blast i'll show you gun trio halfback week now how do you set this up for the rpos well what I, what I want you to do is press the defense, which is why or triangle, and down on the D-pad, and also move up the safety a little bit, a couple steps. Now, there's obviously going to be no RPOs to the right, so you only have to move up that safety. So we will go over the blitz setup real soon, but this is just for the RPOs. So not only should you press the defense, but press Y or triangle, get to your coverage adjustments, and go underneath, which is right stick down. And what that's going to do, that's going to make your defenders play the ball they're either going to knock it down or do what i did in the gameplay and pick it off and if they pick it off it's pick six okay now we're going to go over how to defend those rpos when you're in zone so what i want you to do you can press the defense again that's optional but what i want you to do is man up these two guys on their wide receivers that they're in front of and then press wire triangle down on the right stick for underneath and even in zone Look at that. You'll be able to stop it, shut it down, get a pick six from it. Because if you're in zone, I mean, this is going to be successful every single time for a huge gain. And if your opponent keeps doing this to you, then just man up. You can press the defense, but just hit wire triangle twice. L1 up on the right stick for man coverage. R1 for the slot. Then do that quickly again. Wire triangle twice circle up on the right stick for man coverage and then circle again and then go underneath with the coverage adjustments and that will shut it down because you could keep everybody else in zone if you want while just manning up those two guys where the rpo is going to go to now if there happens to be two receivers to the left as well then i mean there's not here but then you just man up this guy in the slot Maybe move him over and then man up him on the outside wide receiver. Because if you're just going to play the guessing game, then man everybody up and have those two safeties in a deep zone. Right now, we're updating all of our ebooks College Football 25 and Madden 25. This particular play is in our 425 defensive ebook. You can get that at kingoftheblitz.net. We're updating all of our ebooks right now. We just finished with the 335. Now we are on the 425. So we're revamping everything glitch blitzes, two man blitzes, three man blitzes, blitzes like this, stop RPOs, run stoppers. Go check all of our ebooks out at kingoftheblitz.net. Now let's get into the blitz. We will go over a blocked halfback. Just not yet. We're going to go over this play first against nobody extra blocking. 4 2 under hammer. Oh, blast. We'll show this to you against Z Spot Dig. Now, this is a very easy blitz to set up. I mean, you could set up RPO defense and this blitz all at once. All you have to do, slant the D-line outside, which is left on the D-pad, up on the right stick. In practice mode, sometimes you have to do that twice. QB containing is optional, but that's R1 twice. Now, all you're going to do is get on whoever's manned up on the halfback. Now, if, if you can, if you do this against shotgun, run this away from your opponent's halfback, meaning this blitzing linebacker is opposite the halfback. The halfback's on the right. 
have that blitzing linebacker come off the left side even though it's the middle of the field what you're going to do as the user you got to cover that halfback but every time they call hike your first couple steps are down and we'll go over why in a little bit that has more to do against the blocked halfback and the beauty about this play is you're getting a gap by the linebacker and right edge heat so this is also going to help against the blocked halfback because this is why I want you to run this opposite the halfback. Because if the halfback's on the right and you have that blitzing cornerback coming off the right, plus what you're going to do, you'll never see that linebacker coming. All you're doing is slanting the D line outside, QB containing. Look, so that linebacker did get picked up, but the blitz still got in. Now, what you can do to try to make it so the linebacker gets in all the time is pinch all linebackers and slant the D-line to the left, then QB contain. Just like that. You don't have to do that, but I think that that helps that linebacker come through the A-gap without getting blocked. So if you want to just do that all the time, just slant the D-line to the left, which is left on the deep head, left on the right stick, and then QB contain. You user who's on the halfback, you come down two steps and go cover the halfback. See, it's still going to get blocked either way, but whatever's easiest for you. Now, let's block the halfback, and this is where this blitz gets even better. So, let's just say we're slanting the D-line to the left, and then we're keeping containing. The reason why I want you to come down two steps, no matter what the opponent, your opponent's halfback is doing, is because if he is staying in to block... He's going to look at you first and then see that blitzing cornerback coming, leaving that blitzing middle linebacker to come through that A-gap every single time untouched. Untouched every single time. And like I said, if they come out, and if you're doing this against shotgun offenses, if they come out like this, just flip the play. Because this is easy enough to set up if you have to flip to play, even if you're setting up the RPO defense. So slant the on outside, QB contain. So we're still getting decent pressure in. It's going to work the same on both sides. That's why this blitz is absolutely so deadly because they really can't stop it. Like I said, you can come out, go underneath with your coverage adjustments to guard against the RPOs, set up the blitz. And the blitz can't be stopped. This is a much easier blitz than the last blitz I put out. The last blitz I put out was a two-man blitz, which at the end of this video, you'll see on the end screen. If those of you that didn't see it, watch that two-man glitch blitz. So this is a more traditional blitz that's good against the run, that works against a blocked halfback. Just like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like this video. Subscribe to us so you never miss what we're putting out. Just watch. At the end screen, you're going to see a video. I'm going to put one video at the end screen. It's going to be that recent two-man blitz that I put out. It's a little bit more complicated than this. But it's a two-man glitch blitz with amazing coverage behind it. That, unfortunately, that's not from this playbook. That is from the 335 defense. But that is an insane two-man blitz go check that out i'll see you on the next video